two <laughs> former pro wrestlers are in the political arena for their endorsements, you could say. The former governor of Minnesota and wrestler, Jesse Ventura, all in for the Harris Walls ticket. Here's what he told Dan Abrams. I don't want to die and not see a woman president. And I think this is the opportunity for one to get the job. I think it's highly long overdue. Uh, on the other side, Hulk Hogan, maybe the most famous of them all, supports Donald Trump making his endorsement. You probably remember this, known at the RNC convention last month during his speech by doing what Hulk Hogan does. Um, <laughs> he hulked up. He hulked up. <laughs> you know you know WWE and wrestling better than anyone I know by a wide mile. <laughs> this is a real American. Yeah. No, real American. <laughs> no, he does. Yeah, no. no this, is, this is Kurt's the guy. Does any of this matter? No. Why? Uh, because <laughs> these, these are big stars, big names. They were big stars, and that's why it doesn't matter. Th these are nostalgia You want to say that to Hulk Hogan's face? I do. I would absolutely say that to the okay. Hulk's face. Okay. I don't know. No, but, but tell me what. <laughs> navel, I think. It's like, <laughs> they, they were big tell stars in the 70s and the 80s when Hogan and Ventura actually had a feud. Uh, but now, in this day and age, they're a nostalgia act. They're not going to move the needle one way or the other on either side, no matter who you support. It'd be one thing if it was someone who's culturally relevant, like The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson? That could have more of an impact given his relevancy and social media following. Nobody is looking to Hulk Hogan or Jesse Ventura for voting advice. Speaking of The Rock, you think he is a real presidential candidate down the line? 28, Absolutely. 32, 36, in 2028, 2032, Dwayne The Rock Johnson will appear on your presidential ballot. I have no doubt as about what? that. As what? As what? Yeah. Because I say the same thing, but as what? I believe he'll run as a Republican. Huh. Okay. Yeah. You remember he spoke at the Republican convention. They made an appearance. Right. And, yes, and right. he decided this time around not to endorse anyone. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.